Okay, so uh, what we have here is the east side of our new addition that we have going on, and the bricklayers are just getting ready to start uh, their work on the outside. They've been uh, working on the inside, getting some final touches done there, and so we'll walk through there and uh, take a look at their work and kind of what we have going on here on September 4th. come in here, we're kind of coming in backwards, but this, uh, this is our restroom area. Um, the door that we just uh, came in will be the, uh, the, uh, door, the restroom that will be accessible for visitors after hours. So when people are out hiking, they're still going to have um, that access with that. And of course, when we get all done, there'll be the water fountains and things as well. So um, an asset that we really wanted to make sure for our, uh, visitors after hours, uh, make sure that they had uh, still that facility available to them. So we got that, and uh, as we walk through here, we just got uh, like that restrooms. Um, our new entrance will be um, back around in here. Some of the brickwork that was just finished, I'm really pleased with that. They really match the existing really well, um, and of course that will get painted um, eventually, but. Uh, it, uh, they were able to also with the brickwork, um, all the exposed areas that we see, they were actually, we saved the bricks when they uh, made the opening. They cleaned them all up so all those have been recycled. So those historic bricks were actually used um, right back in that same area and they had enough um, to, to do that. So that was a real plus that uh, they didn't have to necessarily have to do, but they, uh, the bricklayers you know, really took a pride in their work and, and did that for us. So. Um, the bricks that you see um, out here right now are the uh, original bricks still. Um, just uh, repurpose them in a little different direction. As you can see, roof shingles starting to come off, getting ready for uh, uh, the, uh, the new roof. As we go along down in through here, this will be the new multi-purpose room. Uh, they're waiting, waiting on some uh, supplies to finish the window but it's a big 12 foot window so as you uh, are in the multi-purpose room and you can stand there you can look out see from an angle you can see Eagle Rock you can see all the way around to uh, uh, Saddle Rock um, so I think that'll be something that visitors you know can stay inside and still be able to see out that's something we haven't had before all of our other windows have been have been high up and, and not able to see out so looking forward to that and this is just kind of our transition area here um, back into the, the doorway that uh, uh, will be put in here and again another window that will allow people to as they come out of the multi-purpose room um, to be able to come out and see Saddle Rock right there so um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Will you still have the amphitheater? We are still going to have the amphitheater. It will, uh, part of the project is to replace um, the seats and things back with that. And then we're also looking at a, a project a little later to do some upgrades possibly um, with the amphitheater so that we can, um, the goal is, is within the next year, to, or within the next two years, is to start um, having evening programs again um, special speakers, things like that, uh, maybe a movie or two. Um, but uh, we are really uh, looking at um, how to, to utilize that amphitheater more again for the community for evening programs. Right now, you know, we're looking at the uh, end of January. Um, if everything would line up, they might be done a little sooner, but uh, uh, that's when the, the, the contract. Uh, for the construction was uh, was set, um, so we're really hoping that uh, somewhere in there we'll be uh, moving in, getting things squared away. The temporary trailer will go away, um, and we'll get that re that area rehabbed and get the new exhibits put in. I'm going to be working with uh, contracting on that uh, later this week. Yet, I'm starting to get that uh, processing uh, going. So.
As you know, uh, Wrangell's done a really good job as well as a number of the subcontractors that they, they have is to uh, uh, utilize the, the time that they have getting done what they can, where they can, and there's, there's always something going on here. There's been very few days that uh, just no work or very little work has been going on, and, and I attribute that to their planning. Uh, getting a little hung up on a few little things, but uh, I'm told they'll be here in a couple weeks. But in that time frame, they're working on other other aspects of the, the framing, uh, getting the roof ready, so that when uh, those uh, supplies and equipment get here, it's ready to go. So I've been been very happy with with their plan and, and implementation. You know we. We're going to be, I'm going to be looking into that a little bit. Uh, our numbers for July and August came in, and they, they were um, higher than I was expecting. Um, and what that contributes to, I'm not, I'm not real sure. You know, whether that's fee-free, uh, whether we just have a number of visitors, or we're uh, actually maybe um, counting visitors a little, a little better, I'm not real sure. But uh, uh, needless to say, it's been a very busy summer with the construction and everything else. It's, de it's definitely been a busy summer. You know, we had a lot of people that came through and, and they've been picking up Centennial uh, merchandise that we've had. Um, it doesn't seem like it's curtailed the construction and Centennial was kind of not the best match maybe that you could plan for, but uh, you know, it, it has, hasn't seemed to affect the visitation at all.